Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back to Garth Loves Travel. So here we are again. I'm back on my grind, um, doing what I love to do best, is exploring Sweden and exploring the world. And it's a wonderful day here in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm away from the countryside. So um, we were on our way to go see this um, castle. Um, or no, it's actually a little manor house, which we still are on our way. But I passed this beautiful church, um, which I I always pass on the highway because the highway is over there somewhere on my way to Stockholm from the countryside but I always would see this uh, I always I, I always would see that beautiful tower on the top up there um, just you know towering all the way up and you could see it from the highway unfortunately they're doing renovations on the front of the the tower as you can see but I figured I'd stop anyway and capture this you know because also I'm capturing a lot of this you know because like I said I've lived in Europe for many years different countries you know but you know I never really captured anything or put anything on film but now I'm like wow you know now I need to document my experiences and my travels especially here in Sweden and it's a beautiful day as I said guys you know it is wonderful I mean it's probably about it feels like it's about 17 Celsius you know um, probably I don't know what is that 60 65 degrees but it's really nice out today so anyway we're on our way to the castle but I'm gonna walk around this church because I also wanted to take a look at it for myself um, you know this is a beautiful I love this stone fence absolutely wonderful stone fence I love it the way all the rocks are stacked I mean look at it all the way up guys fantastic this would remind me almost of a rune stone but it's you know I guess it's someone's um, headstone but I'm um, carved out of a stone to look like a rune stone. So as I'm walking through here, so this is a uh, Botrika. So it's Botrika. Oh, wow, guys. Look how beautiful this shot is with the clouds. I love, you know, summertime in Sweden is just one of the most majestic things because all the colors and the plants and everything come al comes alive. You know, when the sky is beautiful, I know you guys can tell from some of my last videos of last summer when I when I started to do this, filming um, churches and castles and things like that. Yeah, I mean, it just looks so wonderful, guys. I mean, it's so nice out here. I love this little house that's, you know, you could see there's that stone fence goes all the way around and it comes all the way around here all the way around the whole entire property and then this little house just it's situated right there in the corner and then this nice tree stump right over here so as i mentioned guys we're we're close to the city as you can see over there there's the city um so i'm really excited to go and see this little manor house because there's so much treasures you know our treasures that are around um that you know like you don't you will you won't know unless you really go out there and research to find these things as i do because i you know i'm traveling so i guess it's my duty i love that little window i mean look at that ventilation window it goes like it goes like in a little circle over there and then this you know this wow this is like so old you can't even turn it <laughs> but, wow that is so cool guys I mean, look at the roof. Wow. I hope you guys appreciate things like this because if you don't, please let me know. I mean, but then again, you know, it's, it, listen, if you guys are on, um, subscribe to my channel, you know, this is what I love doing. So and I'm sure whoever is subscribed to it, it's also what they love to see. Um, love the plants over here. Absolutely beautiful. So this is another view because like I stated, they're doing renovation on the church. So this is like an awesome view of this church from this angle. And uh, Maria just said something really funny. Well, you know, she said, which is true, this church is similar to the one that I did in, in maybe like two or three videos ago in a town called Vestahanina. Um, But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Here's another beautiful angle, guys of this magnific magnificent church. And it's um, Sunday here today, so I'm gonna see if, you know, we can go inside. I'm not quite sure if there's a service, but wow. I mean, look at this um, tomb. I wonder who this is actually. 
Um, this is Carl Clay's Piper uh, Warden um, at Sig. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to to uh, read all of that. Sorry for the glare from the sun, guys. But apparently, this person was, you know, significant in the time they were on Earth. But this is their gigantic tomb. Actually, this is one of the most, well, I would, you know, I would just say extravagant in the sense of like tombs that I've seen so far here in Sweden. Um, but guys, yeah, this is, I mean, I just love stuff like this. I mean, look at the stonework, you know, I love that little circled window over there. You know, almost looks like you're on a ship. And look across the street, those old, beautiful Swedish buildings, you know, with the different colors. This one is in orange. I mean, wow, guys, I live for stuff like this. I also live for being on the beaches of Jamaica and the Caribbean, <laughs> but this is something else, you know? I mean, let me get a little closer so you guys can see these windows. Oh, wow, and I love the way, you know, they, the wood, as you can see, the wood inside you know of the stone you know and it's oh wow look at those windows man look at these windows guys wow that is absolutely beautiful ah oh, wow and these windows over here Stromberg's family grave I mean I'll give you guys like a nice little shot of this side of the church but you know they're doing renovations on it so you, you know the tower and all the work and the windows that are on that side is very difficult to get on camera but i mean it is really really beautiful i'm gonna try and go inside now um or see if we can go inside so guys maria just read uh what it said on the front of this um tomb and it said he built this tomb um, in in honor of his wife, who he loved so much, um, you know, that when they both, you know, departed this earth, which she's now in there with him, um, you know, they will have one of the most beautiful places to rest together because he loved her so much. So that is, I just had to bring you guys that part of the story. Absolutely. It is a beautiful tomb. Absolutely. Look at this, guys. Like, look at the way the colors are coming out of the window because the sun is actually shining on the windows. So you've got a little bit of purple, you've got a little bit of green, a little bit of blues. Wow, I mean, that is so beautiful. It's just, I mean, and I love that little ribbon on top there. You know, this is the thing about summer. You know, summer here, guys, you gotta come to Sweden buy your tickets come here it is now the springtime i mean the weather is absolutely amazing you can go out and you can do things like this. there's another shot of the side of the church absolutely beautiful church i love the colors um so i just spoke to uh, a gentleman who was um actually walking with some food and i asked him if i can go inside and film a little bit so we're gonna head inside in a second check out what's inside and uh see won't be able to do much talking or anything like that but um definitely It's okay if you're staying within this area. Thank you so much. This is from uh, year 1000. Really? Thank you so much.
Det er fint sagt. Ja, tak. So guys, as you've heard, um, this church is from, uh, was built in circa year 1000. So I'm headed out of here now because they're getting ready for a special service. As you can see, the beautiful food they have laid out here. I feel like taking one and running though. what this is a church. So there you have it guys, Batrika Kirka. And now I'm on my way to the next destination. So guys, we've arrived to uh, Storhof Manor House. So here is uh, one of these outbuildings right here. Um, you could see those window, I call them uh, window guards. Um, you know, they seem and look as if they're from that period. I think it's absolutely beautiful as well. The windows look a little bit updated. Um, the door, of course, it says private, so someone actually probably lives in there, people who take care of this place. Um, there's another side to it, and it actually, um, the inside the door is open. So I'm going to head inside and see what I can see in there, because, but it looks like they turned it into a shop on the inside. So it doesn't look like um, there's any, uh, it says restaurant. But let's see what we can find, guys. So guys, here I am, this is in the main house. And in the main house, they transformed it into a restaurant. So these are different um, rooms where you dine in the restaurant. So they transformed this main house into basically uh, a shop and a restaurant. So let's see, these are the stairs that lead upstairs to another room so we're gonna head up that way and see what they have so i guess this is another part of like the cafe so yeah let me just do a little video on this room So I'm assuming um, these people that are on the wall are ancestors of the original 
or the people who are, are still in control or used to be in control. So this is actually quite cool because you can literally buy your um, breakfast and you can come in each of these rooms here and you can actually come and eat your breakfast. So back in the day, this used to be a room where one of these, you know, nobles would be able to sit and just look out on the property. So there's, I'm assuming that bed, I mean, guys, there is so many rooms in this place. It's unbelievable, you know? I mean, and that would have been the grand um, dining hall that I just walked through. And this is the bust of, um, you know, again, I'm assuming, someone who was of uh you know something to do with this place but i mean look at the doors guys absolutely beautiful place um this is another room oh <laughs> and check this out guys this is hilarious right here this is an old school toilet now <laughs> this is something i've never seen before this is an old school toilet so when you needed to poop and pee you would sit on there and then the servant once you're done a servant would come and remove that and empty it back then most of it used to be discarded in the rivers and you know close by but sometimes they would have a pit where they throw it in and put it and then they will come back and put a new one there yeah, that's that was how the wealthy did it back then. You know, the poorer classes, they had to do it themselves. Um, but it is really warm in here, guys. But this is another room. But this is really nice that we're able to come in here and, you know, view these rooms. So as you can see, oh, wow, look at this fireplace. I mean, this one is beautiful. So as you can see, um, if, you know, back then, whatever they used this room for, you know, whoever owned this house, it's actually really nice to be able to be inside one of these homes and actually look through the windows as a, and, and looking out on the property as opposed to most of my videos. It's it's me standing outside looking in, you know, you know, dreaming about what what's inside or how it looks or so forth. But um. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty grand home. I mean, you can imagine just by standing here, you know, as they say, if these walls could talk, you know, the functions and, you know, the going ons that, that, that went on into this place, you know, that went on in here. So here's another room, you know, this is another small room. I mean, there's taxidermy here. Um, not my favorite thing. I think taxidermy is not my thing, but you know, to each his own. There's a lot of it here. Uh, this is a smaller room. This one also looks out onto the property. Um, I mean, fantastic home, guys. You know, I can I can imagine a lot of the history of this home and the paintings and you know the artwork and treasures have been removed, but nevertheless, you know, it is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic home. So this is another side. So this is another room here. Um, oh, I love that chandelier. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I mean, there's just food and fruits all around and all the tables and everything is set. So um, this is, you know, you could just come here and you can dine at any one of these rooms as you would like, as you can see. Now, this is another great room here. It's fantastic. And people are having breakfast over there. So I'm just going to leave them alone. But wow, do you see this fireplace, guys? Absolutely beautiful. Wow. I love it. I love the work. I love all the details and everything. Fantastic home, guys. So there you have the inside of it. So now we're going to head outside and we're going to see what else is around this property because it's really, really, really hot in here right now. I can only imagine how much it would have cost the former owners of this place. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure what this is right here. I don't know if this is um, uh, a rectory, a directory of uh, the former owners or history of it. Uh, there's some old books over here. Uh, I don't know what's on the inside. That's about insects and plants and things like that. 
but we're gonna make our way downstairs this is the back of the manor house castle you know i mix them all up together it's a grand estate as you can see tons of property um i'm assuming more towards the summer these trees are going to get all green and it's going to look even more beautiful um so this is a view from you know this is the other side of the house you saw the other side of the house where the cafe and everything was so it was a wonderful wonderful experience to actually be inside this house and be able to look through the window and look outside onto the property it gives you that nostalgic feeling of someone who actually lived in, th in this house at that time so listen uh jerry you're one of my newest subscribers thank you so much for subscribing i put a lot of work and effort into these videos um for everyone who watches these videos i hope you like them and appreciate them uh please like share it subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed most of the people who watch my videos haven't subscribed to my videos or my channel but um i would really appreciate it if you do so it is your way of showing me that you appreciate the work that i do so thank you guys so much peace love joy and happiness and i will see you on the next one I gave you my heart.